Am I the asshole for snapping at my sister and saying she's the one with the failing marriage, not me? My husband, 28 male, and I, 27 female, have been married for two years. We have an unusual sleeping arrangement. I'm a very light sleeper, and I've struggled with insomnia most of my life. It takes me a long time to fall asleep. Sometimes even the slightest noise wakes me up, and I have to start all over again. My husband, on the other hand, becomes some sort of taekwondo prodigy in his sleep with how much he kicks. He's been like this since he was a kid, and any attempts to stop it have been a failure. He sleeps like a rock, do he doesn't even realize what he's doing. He also talks in his sleep occasionally. I have a job that I need to get up super early for, so my sleep is important to me. When we first moved in together, we slept in the same bed, but of course that didn't work out. I was left exhausted. He just felt super guilty, even when he wasn't consciously doing it. Eventually, we decided to have our sleeping areas in separate rooms. We aren't angry with each other at all. We understand that some people just have different sleeping habits. This has not affected our sex life at all. We still lay together in one of the beds to watch movies or something all the time. Sometimes we even fall asleep in the same bed, which I feel fine with as long as I don't have work in the morning. It's a little unorthodox, but it's what works for us. My older sister, Layla, 32 female, and her husband are going through a rough patch in their marriage. I think her husband's a huge asshole. He cheated on her and made some bullshit excuse that he did it just because she was ignoring him and refused to fulfill his needs. She's so busy because they have three kids that he doesn't help her with at all. I was shocked when she told me she was staying with him even after the affair was exposed. I tried to talk her out of it, but she told me to mind my own business, so I did. They're in marriage counseling now. From what Layla has relayed to me, it's not going well. She's been trying to change in order to fix their relationship. He doesn't even try to become a better husband. He just shoots some half-assed apology and justifies his actions. I hate him, but I guess it's her choice as a grown woman to stay. She's of course devastated, but also reacting weirdly to the whole thing. She's convinced herself it's all her fault. If she had just paid more attention to him, then none of this wouldn't have happened. I've tried to tell her that isn't true, but she doesn't listen. The other day she came to our apartment to chat and so I could see my nieces. My husband was at work. She's actually never been to my apartment before. Her and her husband have a large, fancy house, so I usually just go to them. With how tense things are now, she said she'd prefer to come to my apartment. One of my nieces opened what she thought was the bathroom door. It was actually the door to my husband's separate bedroom. Layla saw inside that it was lived in, so she asked if we had gotten a roommate. I said no and just gave her a quick rundown on the situation. She seemed a bit weirded out, but didn't say anything until my nieces were all in the living room watching a movie. She began to ask all these weird questions about our sex life, love for one another, etc. I said we were doing just fine, and some of the personal questions she asked were none of her business. She got a bit snappy then and said that she's just trying to help me. If I left my husband out of my bedroom and didn't attend to his needs, he may just run off with some other woman. She told me to be careful and that it would be better to just sleep in one bed despite any sleep issues. She even said, you have to keep an eye on him constantly so he won't feel the need to leave you for someone more attentive. I got frustrated. It wasn't even about the bedrooms anymore. She was just projecting her situation onto me. I was also upset she would suggest my husband would cheat on me for not being attentive enough. I snapped and sharply said that her husband is the cheating bastard, not mine. Just because her marriage is failing doesn't mean she gets to critique and coach mine. That made her super angry, and she immediately stood up and stormed to the living room to get her daughters and go home. She won't answer my calls. She just sent me one text that said she was just trying to help and to not be surprised when my husband cheats. My husband was offended as well, but said he understood she's going through a very tough time now. He suggested I was just a bit too harsh and should have just let her get her paranoia rant out of her system and move on. Her mental state isn't all that good and she's probably just not thinking clearly. My mom agrees with him. She said Layla was being weird and insensitive but I shouldn't have said something so personal, that yelling at her will only push her further away from us and towards her asshole husband. I actually feel kind of bad now. She's obviously not thinking clearly and I should have just moved on. Am I the asshole? Update, 
Thank you all so much for your advice on my original post. Something very intense happened with my sister last night. I was getting anxious and was planning to just go to her house to apologize and try to move on from this. But before I could go, my mom called and asked me to come over. I was shocked to arrive and see my sister sobbing with her suitcase and daughters. She was very distraught and still crying, so we had a bit of a hard time understanding her. Eventually, we figured out what happened. Apparently, earlier that day when she was home, her husband said something so repulsive she just left. Before that, she was serving him a drink and walked away to clean the kitchen and do some laundry. Her oldest daughter walked in and plopped onto the couch beside her father to watch a movie. He laughed and made some jackass joke about how she should enjoy lazing around now because when she gets a husband, all that's gonna end. My niece asked why. He pointed to my sister and said, look at your mom, for example. Great right now, but we almost divorced when she neglected her wifely duties. You should just be like her now all the time and skip the drama. That broke my sister. She packed up and left within the hour. He didn't chase and just said she'll be home soon. She's still frazzled and doesn't talk much, but I'm happy she's away from her jackass husband. 